Both analog and digital hearing aids amplify sound. Uh, analog has a three-step process. Sound is gathered through the microphone, uh, then it's turned up through an amplifier, and then delivered to your ear uh, through a receiver or speaker. Uh, digital is the same process, except there's a fourth step. Uh, sound's gathered, it's amplified, and then it's processed, then delivered to, a, to your ear through a speaker. Uh, the processing part, that's the important difference. That's where sound is actually manipulated by a tiny computer inside the hearing aid. Um, we can manipulate this sound. We can either increase the volume, we can decrease the volume. We can do noise reduction where we can take out certain noises in the background. We can actually get in and fine tune each individual frequency just like an equalizer on a stereo. Um, the hearing aid can also be reprogrammed for a different loss. If over the years your, loss, your hearing loss were to happen to get a little worse, and even if it's only just in a certain area, I always tell all my clients, nothing set in stone with digital hearing aids. We can retest you, go back in, and change the way that hearing aid performs in your ear. Uh, analog in the short term does save you money. They are cheaper hearing aids because that's what they are. They're just cheaper. They make everything loud, and if it's too loud, turn it down, make everything softer. Uh, in the long run, digital is nice because it's almost like having 100 hearing aids in one. Uh, as long as you keep them clean and take good care of them, it should last you a good long time. I hope this answers any questions you have uh, about the differences between digital and analog hearing aids.